the whispering shadows. Emily had always been drawn to old houses, the kind with creaking floorboards and faded wallpaper that told stories of forgotten times. So when she found the isolated, centuries-old manor deep in the countryside, she couldn't resist. It was perfect, perfectly eerie, perfectly quiet. The townspeople warned her. They always warned the newcomers. That house ain't right, one of the old men in the pub said, his wrinkled hand trembling around his beer mug. Things happened there. People disappeared. Emily dismissed it as superstition, the kind of small-town gossip meant to scare city folk. But the moment she crossed the threshold, something felt off. The air was thick, heavy, as if it was waiting for something. But she brushed it aside. Nerves, she told herself. The first few nights were uneventful, though the house creaked in ways she couldn't explain. It was old. Old houses made noise, she reasoned. But on the fourth night, Emily woke suddenly, the room unnaturally cold. Her breath was visible in the air, and that's when she heard it. A faint whisper, soft and indecipherable, coming from the hallway. She lay still, her heart pounding in her chest. There was no one here. She was alone, wasn't she? The whispering grew louder, now sounding like multiple voices. Emily mustered the courage to get out of bed and walk toward the door. As she stepped into the hallway, the voices stopped abruptly. Silence. She flicked the light switch, but nothing happened. The power was out. Gripping her flashlight, Emily made her way downstairs. That's when she saw it. Shadows moving along the walls. They didn't belong to anything. No figures, no objects. Just black, writhing shapes that seemed to crawl across the walls like living things. And then the whispering began again, louder this time, filling the room with a chorus of voices. She turned to run, but something caught her eye. There, in the corner of the room, stood a figure, a tall, dark shape with glowing eyes watching her. The whispering was coming from it, growing louder, insistent, as if it were trying to speak directly to her. Paralyzed with fear, Emily stumbled backward, her breath quickening. The figure began to move, slow and deliberate, its shadowy form stretching and distorting as it approached. The whispering became a single, clear voice, one that echoed inside her head. Join us! The lights flickered back on, and the figure vanished. The house was still again, but Emily knew something had changed. She wasn't alone anymore. The shadow still moved just out of sight, and the whispers never truly stopped. The next morning, the townspeople noticed her absence. The house stood quiet, as always, empty. But late at night, if you stood near the manor, you could hear it. The faint sound of whispers, as if the house itself was speaking, calling for its next visitor.